The man who owned it. How did he turn him into a racist dog? It's simple. Find a black wino who desperately needs a drink or a black junkie who do anything for a fix. And then pay them to beat that dog of yours when he was a puppy. You got yourself an attack dog. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, Julie, a dog trained by professionals to attack people. <laughs> dog has got to be stopped before he kills somebody. That dog is sick. Then he should be cured. Darling, the people that made him sick made him permanently sick. Then they should be put to sleep, not the dog. Oh, come on, Julie, you got a four-legged time bomb. <laughs> You're my last resort. And if you don't help them, they're going to kill him. They should. Good, miss. And as a dog grew up, those methodical beatings by blacks planted that seed of fear in him. And that fear became hate, and that hate conditioned him to attack the color black. That's a white dog! Of course he's a white dog. I don't mean his color. He's going to attack and kill black people! <laughs> I wanted to put a bullet in that son of a bitch. Then why the hell didn't you? Because there's still a chance to cure him. Cure him? He just killed a man. There is no way you can cure that dog. I want you to shoot him now before he kills more blacks. So you finally joined the club. A club of horrified people who raise holy hell about that disease. That racist hate, but do absolutely nothing to stamp it out. That dog is the only weapon we have, at least to remove a part of it. somebody who can help him. I can't guarantee the result, but if I fail, I'll get another one. Or another, and another, and keep on working till I lick it. With that dog out of circulation, there'll be a lot of people sleep better tonight.